Notebook LM may be the most powerful AI tool you've never heard of. And in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly how to take advantage of this hugely powerful tool to do research, understand large amounts of data, keep it all extremely private, and eliminate hallucinations, which is one of the biggest problems with any LLM. Hey, I'm Craig Hewitt. Welcome back to 100 Days of AI. Let's dive into Notebook LM by Google. So here we are on the homepage of notebooklm.google.com, and you can see it's organized into a concept of notebooks. Think of these like projects or things that you want to research. You would group things that you want to research these projects into notebooks. I have a couple of here that I've kind of played around with over the last few months. But for this purposes, I've created a couple of example scenarios, and we're gonna dive into each of those and how I would use Notebook LM to do things like research company projects, competitors, learn a new technology or piece of science, and a couple of others. Okay, so what we're gonna do is create a new notebook. And the first thing that happens here when we create a new notebook is it's asking us for sources. And so you can see here, immediately this kind of diverges from other LLMs like ChatGPT or Claude or Perplexity, where they purport to have all of the knowledge, right? And here, Notebook LM is asking us for content and context. And so you can see you can upload files from your hard drive, which is what we're gonna do. You can connect Google Docs or Slides. You can give website links or YouTube links, which is something we're gonna do in a bit. Or you could just paste in some text. Uh, and you can see here, I'm on a, a Google plan. So like a, a paid like G Suite plan, and I can upload 50 sources per project or per notebook. So I have a couple of files over here and I'm gonna import them just one at a time. So the first is a competitive intelligence brief. I just made all these up. So you can see what happens when we upload this is it's giving us kind of a snapshot of this, uh, of this piece that we added. So we're gonna just add these next three, which is a market analysis report, a Q4 financial report, and strategic initiatives doc. So I created all of these kind of thinking like, hey, if I'm in an organization and I have a bunch of documents and resources and financial statements, and I wanna to talk to them, how might I do that? And that's what this scenario is all about. So Notebook LM is really broken down into three panes, if you will. On the left here, we have sources. And you can select all of these, or you can select just one of them if you want to then chat and interact with that resource. So if we're just chatting with this competitive intelligence brief, we might select it and then say, Tell me what the competitive landscape in our industry is and who do I need to be aware of? And you can see it's only gonna talk to one source here. So the way I think about Notebook LM is it's like a local model almost where it's a chat and an LLM only on the content that you give it. So it's never gonna hallucinate. Uh, right, so it's giving us citations here from our competitive intelligence talk. Let's see, Salesforce, Microsoft Dynamics, Oracle, right? This is just a fictitious thing that actually I had Manus create all this for me, <laughs> just for like a little cross, cross AI tooling. Okay, so it's giving us a bunch of really interesting information here. And we might here now say, I wanna save this as a note, right? Because Notebook LM by default has a lot of privacy built into it and it's never gonna persist these chats over multiple sessions. So if we'd left and came back right now, it might still have these sources, but it wouldn't have these chats. Notebook LM never trains any of the Google models or the Gemini underlying kind of Gemini models on the chats that you're having. So it's very safe and very secure. Uh, so, okay, so we've just chatted with only this doc. Now let's say I wanna chat with these other three. And let's say, how did the company perform in Q4 and what are our biggest opportunities into the new year? And you can see it's only referencing these three sources that we have checked over here right now. Again, you can add up to 50 and either from your hard drive, uh, from a link or website, from YouTube, from paste uh, text that you're pasting in, or Google Docs or Google Slides. I just happen to have all of these on my hard drive and so I've uploaded these. And if you don't have any of those, you can just go and say, date about enterprise ERP software. And it's going out into the web. Again, it's a Google product. It has tons of knowledge about what's out there on the web. And it's going to give back to us a few potential options. Um, so let's see, Grandview Research. Uh, let's see, this one looks good. Let's see, we're only going to select maybe this ERP report. 
and BHI Consulting. All right, so we'll import those as well. And these are just probably PDFs. Okay, great. So we asked it before, how are we doing and what's the biggest trend? And it gives us, right? It gives us really specific information. Again, highlighting exactly and citing where it's getting its data from. Great. Okay, cool. So you're like, Craig, this is great, but this is like just a bunch of text, right? It's just giving me the same stuff that I gave it. That, you know, maybe, maybe not. We're going to save this as a note. Now there's th the third pane in Notebook LM. So the left is resources, the middle is the chat, and the right is the studio. And there's four main options here, and a couple of these are new uh, just as of the last couple of weeks. Uh, audio overview, you might have seen this where Notebook LM can create a podcast from the sources that you're giving it. That's, that's been around for a while. Video overview, mind map, and reports we're going to get into in a minute. So first, audio overview. Just click a button. We've highlighted all of the sources here, and it's literally creating a podcast. It's creating a podcast with two people and where you can interact with it. So once the podcast is created, it'll start playing, and we can then talk to the podcast and the podcast host, if you will, uh, will we'll talk, talk back to us. Pretty interesting. While it's creating that podcast, I just want to review the report section. So you might say, hey, I have a whole bunch of documents. I have 50 documents over here. I need a briefing doc or a study guide or an FAQ or a timeline around this. I need something to consolidate this huge amount of information into something that I can more easily understand. You might say, hey, create me a briefing doc. Uh, I use Notebook LM for researching YouTube videos. So again, we went back to when you're adding sources. I might say, hey, I'm going to create... A notebook of all of the YouTube videos on a particular topic, and I'm going to chat with it about what they have in common, what they don't, how to create an outline of the best possible YouTube video on this topic, given all of the exact sources that I gave it here. Cool. So uh, it has the briefing doc, right? Executive summary, key themes and ideas, market size, on premise versus in the cloud, right? So if you're like, okay, I have 5,000 pages of documents, right, from all over here. I need the two-page version because I got to give this to my boss tomorrow. Bam, there you go, okay? Um, so going back to the studio, still creating the audio overview. The one thing I'm going to do in the meantime here is show you the mind map because the mind map is really great at visualizing kind of large amounts of data and data that kind of flows in some kind of a sequence. So we're going to create this while it's creating the audio view overview as well. And while we're waiting, we might as well create the video overview. This is gonna be a narrated, kind of slide-driven uh, representation of the data that we gave it. So the audio overview obviously is just gonna be like a podcast. The video is gonna be a video with slides and narration to walk you through something. So, you know, maybe you're in education, you're like, hey, I wanna show my kids this really complex uh, thing. I don't want to create the slides. I don't want to do all this work. I just want like the 80, 20 of it. I want notebook LM to create the video overview of this immensely complex topic. Cool. Uh, so our mind map is done and we can over open the, the, this over here. So enterprise SaaS market analysis. Uh, cool. Okay. So there, these are kind of the, the few, uh, areas that you might consider and like, Hey, tell me about discuss what these sources say about market challenges in the larger context of enterprise SaaS market. Pretty cool. Wow. Okay. So increased customer acquisition costs, 10% year over year increase. Yep. Uh, talent shortage in AI and ML. Yep. Uh, Meta paying $10 million <laughs> signing bonuses, right? Data privacy, economic concerns, right? So like, okay, great. Now I want to zoom back in over here. Tell me more about uh, increased customer acquisition costs because I'm really interested in that. So, so what it's doing is it's taking all of this data putting it into some sort of like graphical representation where you can see, hey, how is this breaking this down into buckets? And as I drill down into it, what is this all about? Pretty amazing, right? Okay, so our audio overview is done and we're gonna open this up. So this is this is the podcast, right? It's 25 minutes, there's two hosts, and you can you know download this, add it to your podcast player, listen on the go. Um, it, and it's a really, it's a really, authentic, actually, I think, uh, audio representation of what's going on. Uh, but it's also interactive. So you can say, hey, I have a question. I have a question I want to ask the host. So I'm interrupting it here and I'm saying, hey, tell me about the difference between uh, venture backed companies and bootstrap companies and the current market in enterprise software.
and saying, hey, that's a really great question, really important in the current enterprise market space. So like you can interact with this. So again, think about education, think about you going into a project and topic that you don't understand really well, you can ask questions and, and it'll answer it. So I think just a fantastic way of going deep on a topic. This is what Notebook LM really, really, really excels at is deep research with very specific topics and sources that you're giving it to eliminate the hallucination problem. Just for context, if you're not familiar with hallucination in LLMs and AI, it is when you ask ChatGPT, for instance, a question, and it comes up with an answer that is absolutely wrong. The classic one that we did in the ChatGPT5 video was like how many R's in the word strawberry, and, and before it would just say two. Uh, and, and so like uh, LLMs are, are kind of famous for this because they don't really know the difference between right and wrong. They're kind of like a kid <laughs> in this sense. Okay, so the video overview is done. Let's open it up and see what it has to say. So $200 billion software race, challengers versus giants. Right, so six minutes long, first of all, right? And like really, really interesting, like pretty good graphics, words on the screen. Uh, you know, this is gonna be dozens or hundreds of slides. And again, like just a great way for you to educate yourself and maybe educate stakeholders, employees, investors, uh, students, people in your organization, right? So audio overview, again, all this entirely free. These are the kind of the four big uh, functional things you can do with the content that you create and the sources that you add within Notebook LM. So just to wrap this up, I wanna say, if you're still using ChatGPT to do deep research on a topic, I think you're cooked. You're just using the wrong tool for the job. So using something like Notebook LM or some kind of agentic tool like Manus, I think is a much better way to utilize AI technology to go super deep on a topic and help you understand it better so that you can though then be more effective as a founder, as an entrepreneur, as a business person, and as a leader inside your organization. Okay, so this is Craig Hewitt. This is 100 Days of AI. I hope you enjoy. If you did, please like, subscribe, smash the bell, drop a comment in below with how you're using Notebook LM and what you'd like to see more of here on the channel.